Recording standpoint, how, how has this whole thing uh, ended up compared to how you expected it? I say everything is coming along pretty well. Uh, we've been having some difficulties here because over at the studio we were using Pro Tools HD, and here we're using Pro Tools LE. So there's a constant battle of uh, you know because in Pro Tools LE you can only have 32 tracks playing at once. So we have all these parts, and we're doing all these overdubs at once. So it's like managing all the tracks, and then what needs to be played at once. That's been the greatest headache for us. And now there's a live room back there where the overdubs are going to be, correct? Exactly. I guess it's a glorified booth or a live room. I don't know. What I'm calling it a live room. Okay. It's not a it's not a glorified booth because I mean, it, it, if you had let's say intensely fat people, yeah. like really large, <laughs> it would be a glorified booth. dialogue lines are taken from the yeah, science fiction I mean, movies, uh -huh. so all the things that they're acting are stripped out from different movies, but oh, taken really? out of context. Yeah. So <laughs> some of it's like, I married a monster from outer space, and they're all like these old movies where the clips come from, so they're recreating them. Oh. Yes! Does frightening women make you proud? Or is pride something your race doesn't understand? After our son went Nova, all our women died. But we went on anyway, a race doomed to extinction. The present danger is ended. And the spoken word stuff, what do you typically do as far as compression goes? Usually, uh, I don't do much compression going to tape, especially since now the, most of the recordings we do are at 24-bit, so right. you can record at much lower uh, volumes without having to worry about, you know, having only 96 dB of headroom to, right. to work with. Um, usually compress a little, just in case the actor decides to, you know, scream without letting us know. Earth mission has Yeah, like, do it one more time. It's almost like, um, it's almost like the alien has, he learned, let's say he learned how to love in the last scene. <laughs> okay. And then now he's actually, he's adopted Earth as his home. Here we are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Finally, the, the, the end of the, uh, the long production journey. The penultimate journey to the heart of the chicken. Were there any surprises, like from a recording standpoint or technical standpoint, or? Um, well, surprises. Okay, from a recording standpoint, all I can say is that this, because we did, you have to remember we did two CDs at the same time. I know we've been mostly tracking right. Invasion from the Chicken Planet, but we also did the retaking of Pelham 123 CD at the same basic track session. Right. The amount of music that we recorded with good notes versus bad notes was astronomical. So much of it was good, I was shocked. I, I really edited out, edited out very few bad notes. Uh -huh. So the players, absolutely unbelievable. If you had to do it all over again, would, would you say that the lessons that you took out of this were that one, good planning is, is certainly essential for something like this? I mean, good planning's. Oh, I mean, for something like this, yeah. I mean, good planning is always good in the studio. It's always good to think about what you're doing ahead of time, how you're going to do it, how you're going to get there. If you don't prep and you don't plan, which I hope this video is a lesson to all of you, uh, you can really wind up in a bad situation. So. Wow. Now that's comedy, baby.